This place totally looks like the inside of a house. What's going on? What? Is this your house? Hey. Hey, what's wrong? You don't look so hot. You worn out? Not even trying to stop me. Okay. Is that a picture of a cross? The light. It won't come on. I thought that was a mirror. Um... Oh, okay. Hold on. It's locked. Not only that, the door's oddly sturdy looking too. Flowers. The TV doesn't work. Wasn't there a TV up here? There was. A flower. What does that mean? Nothing. Ain't nothing. What's with this dinky book? Well, I can't read, so I guess it doesn't matter anyway. Is that a Bible? Hey. Oh, I should look at the window. It's all sewed together. Huh? Its arms are stuffed. The mouths and body are stuck together. Is this some kind of doll? Zack. Stop it, Zack. Anything could happen here, so don't go around just blindly touching stuff. Huh? Zack. Stop it, Zack. You've been acting all weird lately. What are you losing your mind over this stuff now for? What? Yeah. What the hell? It's a uh, stiff. Gross. Zack, hey. Please. Oh, please. I beg of you. Hurry up and kill me. Hey, where the hell did that come from? Please, hurry. What are you blabbing about? Why the hell would I kill you here? We're not even outside yet. Plus, that's not the look I want to see on your face when I do it. But... This book... I remember. It's a Bible. Hey, stop screwing around and get a hold of yourself. What the hell? Why'd she go and collapse on me all of a sudden? Maybe she's exhausted. Don't blame her. And she's been acting so weird and panicky. Damn it. Damn it. She just now gets a despair look on her face. Ugh. It's no fun with her making that face at me now. My god, huh? So she's talking about me. Ah, what's going on here? The whole thing sickens me. Huh? What's this? Did it fall out of his bag?
Ah, uh, I can't read it. Hey, there are photos on him, which means this is mine, and the others race. These numbers do make sense though. But still, damn, we're making annoying faces. What's that sound? Come to think of it, I never did find out where that bastard Danny ran off to. That sound. It's coming from where I came in. Okay, hold on. Is this a real moon or is it fake? A moon. Hey, isn't this still the basement? Ah, it's a fake one that's glowing. Like the one on the first floor. I mean the bottom floor. Is this Ray's floor? I mean, I guess these are her parents. Its arms are stuffed and attached to its body. This is one messed up corpse. Her face is ghost white. No. Damn, it's blue. There's nothing I can do for her, so I'll just let her rest. She was looking at this book. What the hell does it say? It's all gibberish to me. Poor Zack. Flowers. Are they covering up the smell of blood with these fake flowers? Man, they sure went to a lot of trouble. Oh, I thought they were growing out of the ground. Um, nothing out of the ordinary. Is that even a person knocking or is that like a body swinging against the... Hold on. Still locked. Not only that, it's oddly sturdy looking too. It's coming from outside here. Uh, hey, so this toy is what was making that sound. Damn it, misleading me with stupid stuff when I'm all on edge. It worked. I'm rid of him. Oh crap! Now now, don't you know that breaking stuff isn't the answer for everything? Tisk tisk, Zack. Don't hit the door so hard. Tired Ray will wake up from her nap. Danny, you bastard! Too bad, it won't budge even with your strength. Wait, what? It looks like the doors on this floor are quite sturdy indeed. Hey. What is it? What is this all about? Open the door, Danny. Yes, Zack. I could open it, but now's not the time. Isn't that right, Rachel? Oh, I do hope she opens her paper soon. Hey, if you touch a hair on her head, you're dead. No need for the attitude, Zack. I won't harm her. But now I have a full deck. Rachel's safety, and how to find the way out of this building. What? Now use that worthless brain of yours to comprehend what I'm about to say, you illiterate fool. I mean to give you some clues, and extend a helping hand. You've stood complacently by your side, oblivious. Worst of all, worst of all, she refers to you as her god. And you aren't even opposed to the idea. Jeez, rambling and talk... What? Rambling and talk like normal so I can't understand. Now go and learn about her. This floor is the very essence of her. I'll let you decide then, what's truly best for her. Depending on your choice, I'll get you out of here. Sans Rachel, that is. What kind of half-assed explanation's that? Hey, wake up, Ray. She slumbers, hiding such lovely jewels. Until you know her, she shall remain this way. Hey. Cut the bull. Crap. Know her. She must be hiding a hell of a secret then. Something about God and some other stuff. Ah, there's no use thinking about it. Maybe something will turn up if I tear the whole place apart. Anyway, I'll have to get there by going around from here.
What was that just now? I gotta dodge him around shish kebab. Um, oh. Hey. Oh! Alright. Come on. What? what is this place? What's going on here? This place is cheap instant death written all over it. Oh crap. What a pain in the butt. Okay. Looks like we got a... Um... What's it called? Uh... Obstacle course. Oh, what do we have here? Looks like a whiteboard. There's some sort of writing on it. Sure wish I could read. Guess I'll pick it up for the hell of it. White plate. Um... giant blood splatter over there. Uh, pizza? Hey! What's a pizza doing here? Can I eat it? Yeah. No, wait. Who the hell is eating a pizza like this? Well, I can't really talk since I'm starving, too. Well, you haven't eaten, and all that you've had to eat was a mushy bag of something. Okay. Hot. Uh. Why, mother? Hot on a plate. Oh God, mother fudge and hot fudge on a fudge and plate. What sort of sick twisted trap is this crap? Um. Huh. What? Oh. Was that... Zack? Um... Pizza? What kind of pizza is this? My mouth burns stings and it's fiery hot all over. I thought burns didn't hurt you anymore. I'm sorry. Crap, I broke one. Crap, I broke three. Crap, I broke four. Okay. Ain't nothing. I'm in no mood to light it. Do you, do you even have a lighter? Ain't nothing. There's no running water. It's not even cold. Nothing here. What'd you know? You never had a fridge. Maybe you did. I'm crazy. Door. Is there a basement or something? It won't freaking budge. I can push, pull, hit, or kick it all I want, but it won't get me anywhere. Uh-huh. It's locked. I gotta search for a key? What a pain in the butt. Oh, this is open too? Hold on a second. I'm gonna get that shiny later. There weren't really any places worth searching above. Guess I'll search below first. Oh, come on! Hold on a second. Man, the floor here squeaks like crazy. What happened here? Huh? A pit trap. Damn, that hurt. Oh, you're dead, though. <laughs> Don't know what that's about. Um, okay. The sturdy door's locked and has no doorknob. Some sort of post used for hanging objects protrudes from the center. What? How the hell does this thing open? Uh... Oops. Um... I have a plate. A plate with two names engraved in it. Can't use this here. Oh yeah... Ah, oh, come on! Okay, I can actually see the holes in the ground. Uh, a sturdy door's locked and has no doorknob. Some sort of post for hanging. Oh. Can't use this here. Uh, 
Okay, that was a waste of time. Locked. Plus it's hard as a rock. Are the doors here made of metal or something? Yeah, it's just... Yeah. Alright, toilet. There's not even any water running. What a dump. Did you have a toilet in your place, Zach? Because I saw it, and you didn't. Okay. Not even a drop comes out when I turn the tap. Yep. Nothing. Wasn't there a shiny here, though? And the water's coming out. Is this a washer? How'd she open it? Looking at the mirror won't help me. Nothing to see but me. There's a bathtub full of water, but it's all murky. There was a shiny on that. There's not even any water running. Okay. What can I do? Oh, I gotta do this still! Alright, come on. Now there's a shiny. Hey, something's inside. Oh man. Stick your hand inside. Oh crap. Literally or... Gross. It's a key. Gross. I thought there wasn't any water in it. You're kidding me. A key? What kind of bad person would put a key somewhere like this? My hands. I gotta wash them. But there's no water at the sink. Not even a drop comes out when you turn the tap. It looks like the water's being shut off, but... It's dirty, but better than washing them in the crapper, I guess. Huh? Ow! What? Something bit me. What the hell was it? What's this? Fish? Come on now. For tiny fish, they sure got some razor sharp teeth. And that attitude... Looks like these little fishies don't know their place in the food chain. Do I look like food? Slice them up into sashimi, Zack. Now look at my hands, they're dripping with blood. Well, I guess blood's an improvement over that other gruff. Gruff? Gr gruff? <laughs> Stuff. Man, these fishes sure got some hateful looking faces. Yeah, fish is the most expressive animals in the world. In, in life, okay. Well, I got the key now. I'm assuming it's not the key for this thing. Yeah. Can I open the door with the key I found earlier in the bathroom? I'd rather not touch this key, but it looks like I got no choice. It opened. This leads downstairs, huh? Go down. Here we go with another weird place. Now it's a basement. Everything's so damn complex. What the hell can I find out about her here anyway? A basement in a basement. Man, it reeks of animals. Something's in there. You sense the presence of animals on the other side. Uh... Oh, crap. Those are some monster mutts. What the hell's up with this place? Are you hungry? You're all dirty and covered in drool. Back off, I'll beat your butts if you bite me. Don't like talking, don't like taking a beating, huh? You're good as dead, you filthy mongrels. Mong- mongrel- mongrels? If bitten rapidly- what? It hurts! Oh, confirm key. Don't bite me! Ow! Did I win? I did. Hey. Get out of the way, you dumb mutts. Ready for another round, huh? Bring it. Oh 
man. This stupid pooch is wasting my time. Plus, those bites hurt. A lot. Who uses a dog anyway? The guy on this floor definitely has a screw loose. This floor is the very essence of Ray. Or so he said. What in the hell is any of this supposed to tell me about Ray? Um, it means she's a crazy killer on the inside. I think. Probably. What did that hot pizza have to say about Ray? <laughs> Hold on a second. She's too hot to eat. <clears throat> okay. There's something up ahead. This thing's in the way. What is that? Always wood. Uh huh. It's a mountain of tacky junk. Oh, yeah. The whole parts lie on the floor. Stuffed toys riddled with seams. Um. This represents how Rachel is just playing with you all and you're all her puppets. I don't know. There's a pile of same riddled toys, dolls, toy box. These flowers smell really strong. Wait a sec, this is this flower even real? So this is locked up too, huh? How do we open it? Damn it, I'm all out of ideas. Even if I try to learn more about her, my head can't keep up. The box won't open, and this room makes no freaking sense. Man, this place is more messed up than my room. It wouldn't hurt to clean up every now and then. <laughs> Damn, guess there's no choice but to look somewhere else. I gotta get back to that room and do something about that eyeball freak before Ray wakes up. Huh? I stepped on something again. Another trap? Oh, come on! For Christ's sake, what kind of house is this? The guy in charge of this floor needs his head examined. The wood will give way. If I fall, then I'd probably be a goner. Ah, damn it. You would do well to be more wary, Zack. Although I expected something like this would happen. Expected? Expect my knife in your belly. What the hell are you doing here? Why did you save me? Come now. What would it be if your story were to end here? That girl who paid no mind to my warning and threatened me with a knife. Rachel Gardner is with Danny, I presume? You were on a quest to take her back, were you not? So what? What do you want from me? Hmm. Zack. Could it be that you've learned to feel emotions through all this? What's so funny? Quit smiling. Wipe that smug look off your face. Ah, uh, forgive me. I didn't intend to ridicule you. Then what the hell did you intend? I was merely intrigued as to what came over you. Huh? What do you mean, come over you? Came over you? Came over you. Why the hell is everyone here so damn cryptic? And you are the biggest question mark of them all. Now what the hell do you mean? Hmm. Very well, Zack. It appears sophisticated matters are not your strong suit. Allow me to explain. Ever since childhood, I have observed those devout to God. Some were beauteous, whilst others were blind and ugly. At times, people would exploit God as an instrument to condemn non-believers, and then pretentiously flaunt God's imagery. 
I suppose it always weighed on my mind. What would God truly think if he saw those people? Or so I asked myself. What? Could you be civil and heed what I have to say? Though earnest, you lack such consideration. I'll give it a rest, will you? I told you to make it simple so I can get what you're talking about. Nothing you said makes any sense. Very well. In short, I wish to see things from the Lord's own eyes by playing the role of God in this place. This building serves as a garden of sorts to put my idea to the test. Those placed on floor B7 are mere subjects to be monitored. An angelic intervention was required to test and exact justice on those brought here. Those who possessed no opposition to bloodshed were adept. Danny, Eddie, Kathy, and Yuzak. Although, I suspected that you have qualities far removed from the others. Huh? You are exceedingly pure and... Nes nescient? I don't know that word. An unadulterated murderer. Which is precisely why I intend to bring you here as one of my angels. Nonetheless, you've broken the rules here, thus making you a sacrifice, as you are attempting to leave this place. So you do want to kill me, huh? I am still speaking! Do not misunderstand me. It appears that you, who only desire to leave this place, are attempting to take Rachel Gardner with you. Therefore, I became curious as to why. So both of you have now become monitored subjects. It makes no sense either way. Ah, uh, that's perfectly fine with me. I do not think you verbally capable of con- What? I do not think you're verb- the I do not think you're verbally capable of conveying your feelings anyway. Besides, I'm not done monitoring you yet, so we shall see what comes to pass. You say that you're watching everything? Seriously, Reverend? That was my original intent, though if that bothers you, I apologize. What crap? What the hell is an apology gonna do for me? Oh, come to think of it, solving the puzzle imposed by Danny may be somewhat beyond your abilities. Shall I lend you some assistance? Well, idling time away is also a dull act, you see. Should you find yourself at odds, then come hither for my counsel. In exchange for my help, however, I should like to keep watch over your actions. I wish to see how you intend to leave this place, what you are persevering to become, and who you really are. Fine. Oh, before that, Zack, answer me this. How? How did you feel when Rachel Gardner called you God? Damn it, it never ends with these people. It creeped me out. Is that so? Hey, do me a favor. Yes. Stop talking in riddles all the damn time. It's such a major pain in the ass to me. Every single one of you are just idiots to me. Is that so?